Hello, this is Pastor Jay. I'm excited to invite you to come over to listen to our broadcast on YouTube. Yes, Walk in True Christian Fellowship Church on YouTube. We have some great videos over there, and you'll be able to listen to all the lessons and the podcast. So again, subscribe, like, and continue to comment and listen. This is Pastor Jay. Talk to you later. Peace. God bless you and welcome to Walk in Truth Christian Fellowship Church Broadcast. We appreciate and welcome all of you, our listeners around the world. Stay tuned to hear an exciting word from Pastor Teacher Dr. James Sutton. Chapter 7, but I want to go back to make it make sense. So let's start at 6. I preached last week. We're still talking about sanctification. Chapter 7 is sanctification, and, and it's going to be an illustration. But uh, this is going to be a good example of how you should study the Word of God. Amen. So we're going to be in chapter 6. I want you to start at 16. What's the last it's verse? It's the possession of the land of Sihon, the king I want you to read of Heshbon, from and the land 16 of Og, the king down of to the last verse. So that is a confirmation. And then I'm going to have Frida start at 22 not only in number, and read into chapter 7. But so she's going to read. Uh, we're Mara. talking about sanctification. Exactly what happened. The, the, the okay. period in time to so which you're being conformed into the image of God. Okay? Was how That's all sanctification is. The sanctification is where you experience God. While you're being yeah, conformed, saw, yeah. you're being changed. So now, While you're being changed, you're having experiences. Yes, you don't different. have experience outside of the sanctification second, process. In the I process, Pearl is fasting. She's going through a process. In the process, she says she's hearing God. Well, so it's, real, it's so simple, but we're trying to make it so difficult. You know, and you don't have to necessarily go on a fast to hear God. You can go in his word and hear him, but you got to get to the point where you understand in the process, challenges, yeah, disruptions, okay. this is totally things happen, things go good, things go bad, things go horrible, death, life. Yes. Do y'all remember? All this? of those are part of the, uh, the process because what God is trying to see is do you no. see it from his perspective? On the bottom, right? He, if he's conforming oh, you to his image, He's trying to conform you to thinking like he thinks, thing. not like you think. Okay. Now, he wants that to be a choice for oh, you. Uh, yeah. You either learn or you don't. Okay. So you either study or you don't. And, and what's, so what happens with most Christians, they're no further along in understanding and having experiences of God than when they first got saved and had all the zeal. Because when they had all the zeal, they were looking for God. But as we get older and become older saints, we you lose our, yeah. our so because we're the flesh. We just lose now, your, uh, yeah. this awesome we'll look at God that we had when we first started, we'll, uh, which we need to regain. Yes, yeah. you know so and that's what the word does to me. It, 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 I'm just, yes, I'm yes. just as excited yes. as I was a decade Correct. ago so about the word because I'm learning more and more. Uh, I don't know it all, uh, uh, but I've learned how to process it, and in the process of processing His word, I'm having the whole pink land right there. You know. Calming experience. Everybody see it now. Peace. Let me go back to the, the other one. The PC promised to leave with us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. see the difference now. Because he overcame the world. I don't have so to fight the world. I just have God. to walk in the peace that God has given me. Um, I don't know why I want to fight the world. Like us are fighting when we need to be walking down in peace. Israel okay? territory. All right. Romans 6, 16. Go ahead. Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient well, slaves, one you are slaves of the one who you obey, the king either of the land which the leads to death Israel, or of obedience which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that you who were once slaves of the sin have become obedient as far as my heart Herman, to the standard of all teaching the Arab to which you were committed. And Sinai, having been set free from right, sin, have become Peshbon, slaves of righteousness. Mm -hmm. I am speaking in common terms which is because of your natural limitations. For just as you once nope, presented your members as slaves and to impurity and to lawlessness, even as far as more lawlessness, the the so now present your members as slaves to righteousness and the Arab sanctification. So in that word presentation, present, that's from your choice. When you present, Eastward when you present 
Jashamah. When you present, and on the side, you have a choice. At the foot what of you gonna present? You're going to present your, your, your members, your body, yourself, who you are, the to righteousness, or you're going to present yourself to holiness. Whoever you present yourself, I mean, to, 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 to sin, whoever you decide to present yourself to, you are that person's slave. You're not in the middle. And, the make and if you're in the middle, you're on the slave side. You don't get the, you, it's kind of interesting. You don't get the positive the side unless you come all the way. Moses, See, the, the, the issue is we, in, in church, one of the things Israel that people teach in church is this halfway and middle Moses, thing. Moses, the servant of the Lord, and David that's damnable because God says his son died for all of Jesus, sin, so all of you so who sinners need to come. You can't meet them halfway. It's all that description on you can't say you love God and present yourself to, to unrighteousness. The Remember the volume knob. The volume knob as you become more sanctified, you'll be able to drown out the slave side, the other sin side, the unrighteous side. Now being sanctified is the process and in your sanctification, what you want to do as you present yourself to holiness, you also begin to consecrate yourself in holiness. So everybody see what they're talking about. Let me make it bigger. Sanctification leads to consecration. You can't get consecrated without being sanctified. You can't you can't get consecrated. You, 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 you can't get consecrated. You can't all, you can't continue tea. to lose so what you do and expect God on the not, side. and you claim to be his Who not to, to, to judge you, punish you, or even bring take you up out of here. Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites. We don't know how much time we got that. We talked about that earlier right. today. The Jebusites, right? You know, yeah. and so y'all about, see that that's where Andrew was uh, they was given by Moses. Gil's 21 years old. So you see Gilgal there. Think about this. Ai, 11 years old. Half her Jericho. Life. You see Gibeon. You see Gath. She didn't know it. All those places that we But, but what we know now by her death, at 11 and 10 years old, she was now, halfway home. Her walk her walk home was imminent. Meaning, first 10 more years. One more decade, she gone. Now these are the kings Thank of the God land. she made the right decisions. Joshua. And the sons of Israel defeated she got baptized. The Jordan she gave her life to Christ west. because we led her Lebanon, to Christ. Even as far as Mount Halak, which rises See, what we understand is, is it's not so much, we love Israel you if you could come and be with us all the time after you get, but our number one focus is that we let okay, that go to Christ. So we first have Jericho. Now, how much we seen her off and on beyond that? Which chapter did he, um, did God That has nothing to do with anything. Um, she saved. And Joshua. And because she picked somebody that was not right, that's on her. So in, in chapter three, that's where he. But God still I, saved. I, 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 I and her soul is saved. I'm doing. I'm doing she never got to experience to avoid the sanctification process to as, we, we as we have. And she won't. It, but it's more. But than we know, just like a thief so, on the cross. Um, it's more than Nancy here. In She's chapter Jesus. six is when they defeated Amen. Jericho. Okay, we're here. Okay, we're here. So you write down. For when you were slaves of sin, what? you were free in regard to righteousness. But what fruit were you getting at that time? In the hill country, in the lowland, in the Arabs. So what fruit do you get when you serve in righteousness? In the wilderness, in the Negev, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Sadness, separation. We we know that God said that there are going to be confusion. Because God is not the author of that confusion. So when you was enslaved to sin, you got a whole bunch of stuff with I mean, that that was Joshua. the fruit of sin, right? Bigger, so yeah. And the wages of sin is what? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and I'll go to... point today. Now. When I was in service, son, I was like, and y'all just froze. That's what <laughs> okay. okay. The king Great. Y'all uh, know. The king of Jericho. Now, now, see, this is the danger the about what y'all just said. You can't unknow. Yeah. Once you know, you can't unknow. Eight. You can't go back and say you didn't know. You remember really she started off, don't you know? Mm -hmm. That's her first sentence. Don't okay. you know? Yeah, y'all do know. Uh, so guess what? Go back to Romans 1. Man, you without what? Yeah, which is excuse. Besides that, though, one, the king of Jerusalem. You excuse, you know. One. Okay. The king of Hebron. One. But Paul knew too. We're going to get to that in a moment. But yeah. You still, you still are in this battle in your flesh because the old man is not dead. Oh. He can be it's dormant to two kings, but we talked about in one chapter where he can't affect you. In chapter 10, but he's not dead one. yet. Go ahead. Okay? He's not dead, and the, and and you know your numbers. 
We don't even worry about the devil. You know your king number. Jar move, they, we talk about that. But when you try to do good, evil is always worse. Right? Right? Right. 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 Knocking at your door, oh, calling you on the phone, in chapter 10, so sending you a letter, sending you a text. The king of Eglon. Yeah. One, always 10, there. Three. The king of Giza. Sometimes you just need to sit at home and turn of everything of off. When you try to do good, it's just focus on doing good because you know evil is a ring away, ring a ling a ling away. All right. All right. Go ahead. And by the end of the king of Arad, one. Okay. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end, eternal life. So the fruit you get, because we're going to talk about fruit. The fruit you get leads where? Leads to what else? Leads to the process. The fruit you get. So, mm -hmm. I want y'all to take this in note. It said the fruit you the get. Canaanite you have to talk right lived in that hill the fruit you get. Came down so the fruit you down get leads to sanctification. And it's <coughs> in eternal life. So, the fruit you get what? Again. leads you to That's where? The, the process. In, uh, numbers. But sanctification. Seven and, five. and in the process of being sanctified, it, it leads you to what? Eternal, eternal life. life. So in other words, you're given the fruit no, before you need to start the process. You don't do the process to get the fruit. And you're being processed with the fruit. Okay, we should be fourteen. And through the fruit. Let's go yeah. back to yeah. and, that's, and that's the key. Sometimes we sometimes we just get a little bit confused because because we, we got this fruit thing. And there's different meanings of fruit. But but what, what Paul is trying to tell you is you've been given everything in salvation that you need to walk through the process. Because the Holy Spirit has been deposited where? Within you. Right? Okay. So you have this fruit. All right, now let's go ahead and go ahead and finish up this goal to seven. So we're talking about fruit. I'm going to give you a note about that. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Did mm -hmm. the king of that desert or do you have been not defeated? No, brothers. In the sea of the lake. That's the one we just talked about in 10 That the law is binding by the person only as long as he lives. But the city itself. For a married woman is bound by law to her husband while he lives. But if her husband dies, she is released from the law of marriage. Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while yeah, her husband is alive. Everybody what I'm saying. So but if her husband that dies, dies right? she is free from that law. And if she and if marries another going man, in, she is not an adulteress. Okay. Likewise, my brothers, you also have died to the law through the body Let's of Christ, down here. so that you may know, so that you may belong to another, to him. We just have been raised that from kiss, the dead in order that we may be all those for God. The stop. Are all down here. Oh, yeah. Stop, stop right there as far as our main okay. passage. So now the king was defeated we get this fruit, in the siege of Leticus. But the siege itself was not captured fruit. by Joshua. And then not, or, nor was the we have eternal of, life. Those are positionings. But while we're going through the process, we also bear more fruit for who? Or door. Just and I'm going to give you second. where if we can find bear it. Bear fruit for who? Um, for God. Look down. Right up. One, uh, bear fruit for God. So in the process, you are re 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 you're, you're duplicating yourself this fruit over and over again for God. And you take the fruit that you get for God, and what do you do with it? What do you think you do with it? 1 verses 27. Share it with, with each other. Share it with each other. And share it with who? And who else would have said each other? Who else? Outside, the lost people. The lost people. The lost people get to share in your fruit. Okay, let's go to uh, the of John chapter 15, verse 1, to see where this fruit comes from. We already said it, but we need to back up the scripture. John 15 and 1, starting 15 and 1. So if y'all look at the label, I, know I am the true vine, 
And my Father is the vine dresser. If his place every is branch common, in me that does not bear fruit, good. he takes away. Jericho, and every branch that does Joshua, bear fruit, the he prunes that it may bear Judges. more fruit. And it's saying already that you Joshua are clean because of the man. word that I have spoken to you. Get it? Abide in me, All and way. I in me you. Me as the branch cannot bear fruit by so itself. Unless it abides in my life, neither do you, unless you abide in me. Stop. They enslaved them. What so, the only way, only way for us life. to stay fruitful is to what? Abide. Correct. In who? You see the crop. In Christ. Y'all okay. got to get this. Uh, Y'all got to get this. You uh, got to abide okay. in Christ. Because if you don't abide in Christ, you will not produce any fruit. If you do not participate actively in your sanctification process, you might be fruitless. Okay? You have to yield. You have to be cultivated by the Holy Spirit. So, he said you have to abide to produce this fruit. So, now our next question is, what the heck is this fruit? Go to Galatians 5 and 22. Yeah, I see that. So Philistines feel Because we need to find out what this stuff is. That God says yes, that, that, that we have once we get saved. Not drive out the inhabitants of so the if you don't experience this, see, this is this is the thing. Along. Now it's going to tell you what this fruit looks like or basically you what you should experience if you got the fruit. Amen. No. The God, the word of God is so good did to not me. Drive out the inhabitants. I don't know about to y'all, but it's good to me. Amen. It is good to me. Go ahead. This is what you should experience. So at 5 and 22, y'all know this fast. Go ahead. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Stop. So against such things, there is no law. There is nothing that man has written that overrides the fruit of the spirit and your first thing that you will want to search out because he said he gave it to you we read that back in Romans is this fruit of the spirit the love, joy, peace so so in your life as you go through life you should be searching for all of these things not one, don't separate them because you need them all working interchangeably with each other Love, joy, peace. See, see, you can't do the work of God unless you love. You can't do the work of God unless you get peace because the waves and the people and the giants are going to come and you're going to need the love to look past that and the peace of God to deal with it. And you might have to long suffer with some people while they're going through while you're trying to help them see God in you. But how can they see the God in you when you don't have any love and you don't have any joy? And you don't have to teach. Joshua and you're not willing to long suffer. You will to say, I'll do this, but not that. With, um, and God said, if you're not willing to do that, you ain't got none of this. And you know what I'm saying. Verse 16. The king of Mecca won. The king of Bethel won. The king of Tapcar won. So Mecca is Mecca. In chapter 10 and 10. Yes. The fruit of the Spirit is like a good old Mississippi watermelon with a bunch of seeds in it. Um, Every you bite you take, there's Joshua. another seed. Okay? That's what it is. You can't get around it. Now you go buy a fake watermelon and don't have no seeds in it. 11 and 22, so you just did but that ain't, that ain't the way God made it. That's right. The king of Aphek. Uh, FYI, be careful eating fruit that God didn't make. The king of Lasheron. That, 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 that MGO, whatever they call it, fruit that, that look real good, but don't have no seeds in it. That, that, that thing is, is engineered one. by man. That ain't God. Okay? It may, you may like not spitting out seeds, but I want some with some seeds that it's supposed to have. But that's how God made it. So let's go over through the Spirit again. Read that again. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. This is how you experience God in that. I, I can't emphasize that enough. If you love, you, got, you are ready for the fight if you have learned how to tap into what God has given you. Again, we learned that it's already in you. You get it when you get saved. Now, your job is to participate in the process that brings it from that moment out into your life so others can see 
What did the Bible say? They are no, we, the people will know, the outside people will know that we belong to Jesus. By the way, we what? Love each other. But there's the love. What did Paul say? If we don't have love, we don't have anything. He said, even if I talk with the tongues of angels, so that puts out the heaven that I do, but that throws that out the window. It says, even if I had all the knowledge, that means I know Genesis to Revelation verbatim. It throws that out the window. Because if I don't have the fruit of the Spirit to dispense God's word, then something's wrong. Okay. Like, like the fairly said, you know, because I was hard, People she misunderstood said, my seriousness as being me. Nevertheless, the road on but God had to say, how can they the hear me if they can't get past you? Lord will sell Cicero into the hand of a woman. And, 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 and it's, the biggest problem with most people, that, that's, that's Avon, is that you can't get past but she, we already who know they are to see God. In the sense of you looking at them, with, and then you got see what, getting the getting the get the getting the Correct. spirit, getting the fruit. Okay, let's go back to you don't look at people four. in the flesh. You look at people in the spirit. Twenty-two. And see, part. when I see Avon, King I see Jokinia the spirit of Avon. I see, one, like somebody said, she's one of God's children. So I need to look at her in the spirit. It has nothing to do with what she do. It has something to do with what God has for her. And she couldn't be coming here unless God ordained her to come here to get something from us. See, when people walk in here, no matter who they are, when you walk in here, you're not here by accident. God don't have accidents. He has purpose. God has no accidents. There's no, God don't go, oh, that was going to happen. No. Even though we don't know and we don't understand God, Israelites defeated. How can we honor Janelle? Realize that we need to be on the ball to get people saved because we don't know when somebody at that fifty point mark, no matter how old they are. Correct. Because let's say it was they, let's say a person was ten and left her at twelve. When they was ten, they were eighty percent done. But our job is to act like tomorrow is the day, right? Our job is to tell people how much God loves them. As if the next second, like he gonna bust over heaven in the, in the next hour, and you gotta catch this plane. You gotta be, you gonna be caught up in the, in the because what's gonna be left is gonna be chaos. So yeah, we, we need to we understand that Jesus is the vine to which we receive the Holy Spirit, which brings the fruit, which we are sanctified in and through for God, for others. And 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 we need all of it, and our experiences are in that realm: love, joy, peace. So if you're confused, you're before not in the spirit. Joshua. This is before Joshua. If you're scared, you're not in the spirit. So this, when we read in Numbers, who was in now? Numbers? Those are natural things that happen to man, right? And so, but we're not talking about what's natural to man. We're talking about what's supernatural to the new creature that you live, that lives in. Before Joshua started his, his you got to feed that creature. So that's that creature can't. Like, that creature can't go yeah, off of what happened. Sorry, I don't know why I want to keep saying that. That creature needs some so, food. The way you feed your this that is creature is through your soul, and you the, need to feed your land, soul. The, the word promised God. land by Yahweh is in grain. That, that's all I want. Land conquered by Joshua. Feed, 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 feed. God will work out the, all the intricate details of your life. Okay. I am, no wise, I am no more wiser to the world than, than you guys are it's when it smart, comes to things. Right? Only thing I do is I just try to but trust God and look at it God's way. And and a lot of y'all got a lot. Y'all older than me. Y'all got a lot like, more experience than me. Y'all right? did more things than me. Well, we just Again, ran in chapter so, 12. It explained. So, and I just gave him a note. When judge and y'all say that to me. That a lot so, of the lands that they used to The key now is the word of God. They didn't get in Joshua. The baby don't bother me. Let her talk. She in church. She, I don't, that don't bother me. She might be talking to God right now. Say, is he talking right, God? Amen. James, go to James three seventeen. Did they get the land? All the land. James three seventeen. They didn't. James three seventeen. Let's see. <clears throat> But the wisdom, go ahead. Then he got the, the wisdom from above. Then he got the first pure. They then in the book of Ezekiel, I'm not gentle, talking about during the Ezekiel's time. Full but of in the book of Ezekiel, they did not get all the yeah. uh, okay. 
So now we yeah. we here. Okay, we saw I'm not peace asking, in it. I'm peace not to be funny. I'm not trying to ask trick questions, but these books. So really even if you have questions. wisdom, you need the fruit of the spirit. Because Ezekiel's talking about you cannot have this, wisdom without the fruit. time is when they you know what the fruit of the spirit got allows got you to do. This is Joshua time when they actually got the land they got. Other man, land your own selfishness. And the map I'm showing y'all right now. It's, 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 uh, I'll give an example. You can still see that. It, it's like green. you get a flat tire. All of that stuff was the stuff. You know, to go get a jack to change your flat tire. And we just talked about it. They didn't and get the jack is they normally didn't get gas. Where they the didn't spare get um, Gezer, Ekron, none of that now, stuff. Mm -hmm. So they only you can get got a small it. piece of land. And have a crank. Old fashioned. And God promised. But they make better ones now. But what that you just put under there and you project your car, not, just not like at the shop. Or you can go but ahead and have a plan where you make a phone call time. and the right. man come and change your turn. But when we read, in, we read in different judges, perspectives, different ways to handle the same problem. Some of the reasons why but they you have to learn that, that that's available to you. Thank the same you. thing with God. You, so what you're learning is when you're walking under the so fruit of the Joshua, Spirit that it produces this thing called peace, love, joy, that, that you can look at things from a peaceful a perspective. Land. You can look at things from a joyful perspective. You can look at things from a loving perspective. You can look at things from a long-suffering perspective. See, you I, will look at I things as God looks at things as what's needed to solve. I'll try to make it a little bit bigger. But that's yeah, I see what I'm saying. He went all the way up here as far as he could you get. You have to tour into that. All the way it down. It doesn't happen to the sheep overnight. It happens when they had the land word. before. It happens because you meditate on His word day this is how the land and before. night. All right. Right. Let's go this to Matthew. This is how the land looked um, during Moses' time. I love mm -hmm. maps, by the way. Three and eight. It really helps me out. See how much they conquered more. Bear fruit. But they're still, and still got their Bear fruit. And keep the time with repentance. This is what John right. the Baptist was trying to so tell still was the Pharisees working. when they were coming to be baptized. He said, you're coming to participate in the ceremony, they, this is but you haven't happens. even repented yet. So one of the fruits of the Spirit, it will cause you to but what? They got repent. Had they been well, born. Romans 2 and 4 says, don't you know the goodness of God should lead you to? Repentance. Yeah, so in the fruit of the spirit, one of the things that, that you should have is a repentant heart. See how much land still needs to be. And a repentant heart is godly sorrow, but a repentant heart is also but saying again, like I always say, my way is wrong, God, your way is right. right. I've changed my mind, I'm gonna follow you. But you do see the problem of not. This is the sanctification process. The further you go, the more you should follow. Everybody see what I'm saying? You should be lagging behind. Leaving the places like so, Gibeon and Ephraim due to your disobedience, because what caused you to, to, to be disobedient, uh, oh, the, the lag behind is disobedience, oh. simple disobedience. All of you me. don't want to do what God says. You want to continue. You want to mix a little bit of what you know to, with God's word, a little bit of what they told you on TV and with God's word. And you want to mix what you heard from so, those and, and, and the Jakes and all them. And then you come to church and mix what I say, and then you form your own religion. That's how religions form. And then everybody get little bit. And then they got their own. And they form a religion. I need the men to look at that. Yeah, they form a religion. Instead of what's the problem with when God's word and yeah. scripture by scripture? Yeah, and they, it, the Holy Spirit to the, be the guide. You. The Bible says that we all got this love, joy, peace. The Bible says we should be all saying the same thing. Thank you. We should all be saying the same thing. Style, maybe. This day. But the same thing, nonetheless. They got this so we need to do something to repentance. But they gotta depend. Well, the fruit should, should put us in a position to repent. To get. To get Let me see. Body. Where do I want to go from here? And they can create it. They go to Psalms 1 and 3. But see, they got to see a Galilee, but that's a lot of land, right? They don't. They People can't see it for. Now, we say that Jesus is the true vine. And then you say he's the true vine, and he is what? He is like yeah. a tree planted by streams of water like a, that yields its fruit in its itself. and its so leaf you does see not wither. So in other words, they got as you go the through the season, the sanctification process, you are like a tree up. planted so by the tree. water. Yeah. What water? Yeah. The living water. <coughs> and what happens when you're planted by the tree or tapped into the true vine? Like you will yield what? Fruit. Trade. Yeah. All that kind when? Of stuff. In season, in the process. They have to depend on that. Not one minute before, and you see how not one minute after the process. I'm not being funny, but disobedience leaves you hey. vulnerable. 
to outside oh. sources. Just looking at the map. Yeah, that's my baby. Yeah. Matthew. Yep, go to Matthew 12 and 31. We're almost done. Because for real, think Matthew about it. Matthew 12 and 31. They're really vulnerable. They're really vulnerable. So the best Therefore, choice in a vulnerable situation is to be obedient. But you, you just people. got off this high. But the blasphemy of against the Spirit will not I'm be I'm not saying that they're going to be we'll obedient. Going. And, and whoever speaks a word the against the Son of Man what? will be forgiven. Victory, against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Victory, this mm-hmm. Either make the tree, make the tree good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad. You see what I'm saying? They 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 had an opportunity. Read it again. Make what? Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad. So in other words, the tree that's planted by the water can't produce either. And good fruit or bad fruit, but, but it can only produce the fruit of the kind of tree that it is. Right. So somebody else would have went to chapter twelve and said, "Oh, it's just the kingdom." Of that you caught that? Right. That's good. But when you, you go to the you know, I'm an apple tree. I can't produce more. way more than just kingdom that they conquer. You can see. Oh, I can only produce the fruit of the kind of tree that I am based upon the seed that has been sown into my heart. Which is the word of God. So if I am under the word of God and I got the fruit of the spirit, I am like a tree planted by this living water. One, and I'll produce this fruit. But I can't produce this fruit until I go back to Romans 6 and not be a slave to sin no more. So then, you know, she just read through the serpent. You read through the See, when you're a slave to sin, you get a serpent and get bit and get in trouble. Just so they can get the land that they And we are born a different kind of tree. But then we are grafted. So into the true vine. It, Joshua did a lot. And if anybody done any hope, when you grab something, it like becomes what you grafted it into. A long time, a seven year span. Have you ever planted peppers, hot peppers, oh, and, and, and and cucumbers side by side? And the cucumber the takes on the hotness of the pepper. It grows on it, and, and the flavor right. of it will so grow in it. See, this is the thing. The closer we get to God, hand. we begin to, no the sanctification process gives us mass, mass destruction. There's no that sweet aroma. Extra stuff that is occurring when they're com- it is not about walking around and floating and casting out demons and devils. It's about and living a life that's holy before the world, and people can see that you're different. Hallelujah. And it's not about how you dress, what I'm saying. per se. You know, it's not how you dress per se. So then, the, but again, the lesson is the pants will come up week. and the dresses will go down, and you go about your life. But you got to be obedient. Okay. Just look at how much land they should have. And the hats will come off eventually. But the but the thing about it is, we have to be you such not, peaceable, loving not people. You don't ask not, but most of the time, that a person will see <laughs> that <laughs> we you don't, don't do care what you look like. We know what God can do. When we talk about us. the land of milk and honey, we can have Again, the land of milk thanks. and honey, but we will know you what to do, do with it. We had it. Mm-hmm. How are we here? How did we come together? What? what how did God move all of us from different parts of this St. Louis metropolitan area and around the world to come together? I, I'm just at all at God and the way He do stuff because I didn't see it coming. Jackie came through. Through Anthony. We got a family I, I, I didn't know Jackie. Got, Jackie saw my ladies. father, kind of knew my father, but you didn't know we me. Got people who have resources. Curly came, came to the Bible study. Resources. Y'all came to we Praise Tabernacle to Earth. You came because of Vera. You came because of her. I didn't see none of that. We lose out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Through you too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she but she came to the Bible study. What, I, what I'm trying to point out is, is that if you truly look at how God moves, it's true to his word. He moves mysteriously. You get what I'm saying? So he moves in ways we can't imagine. He got it together. Mysterious. Because, you know, we have some bumps in the road. Obedience is it's mysterious. So it's, it's, Jackie yeah, comes to listen to him. Did you get a hand? How you did you? You listen to Anthony, but you have it's questions like, for him. Right there. Right. Let's get, we talk right there. Let's skip chapter 12. But it's and then she start coming. And she started hanging out with us. We thinking she's part of the ministry. We like assuming she walks up here and do an invitation, and everybody jaw drop like, huh? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's what you do. Everybody would do. If you can use a cop, you can fight. You ain't just going in there and just saying it. Even right. And see if I'm telling you the truth or not. And we talk about this. Before. Am I pointing to me or am I, I pointing to God? I, I, I can't fault the people of the of the you know? conference. They fault because I don't have nothing of what these other pastors got. That I think, but I know what I do have that they pulled to have so, in this word. Chapter twelve is small. The true word, the truth, because it's the truth that sets you free. Because it's the truth that that, that 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 helps you overcome the obstacles. It's not my imagination. I have got a great imagination, but I've learned over the years that my imagination didn't be number two. To me, God. What I he knew he was gonna he he no he used what was bad and turned it into good. So now the challenge is Avon. If you're full of the Holy Ghost and Spirit, you got the Holy Spirit. Why are you letting your past hold you hostage? And the plagues during the angels. Why you making a choice to let your past hold you hostage? The worst thing the saints go to, one of the worst things they can do, is is allowing their past to hold them hostage and say to themselves, they still not good enough. You were never good enough. You never was good enough. You, and you will never be good enough. Everybody get one week. Whatever God gives you, you didn't earn it. Now everybody see what you're not doing. It's by his grace. So don't let your past and people who hold your past against you to, to make you feel less than when God said, I die for everybody who feels less so than. So if I ask you what chapter... My job is because I have the fruit of the spirit in me, the love, joy, peace, is to continue to tell both of you that. And we know chapters It ain't about how you feel, about what you know. And five... Was really establishing who Joshua was. Yeah. So six, seven, eight. Those feelings have meant to trip us up. Those chapters afterwards is when you get I'm in my feelings. And we get on the journey. But you, you, but you, but, but, but again, what I'm saying to them is, no matter what decision you made yesterday, if you come to Christ today, He done threw all that in the trash can. Everybody get me. It's all in the past. We now, does that say you're gonna make, not going to make all good decisions from that day forward? No. We, can't we read that you have to be committed to the teaching. Now, we read in six, right? To the teaching. That's why the teaching is more important than the preaching because the teaching leads to better prayers. The teaching leads to better worship. The teaching leads to a better life because you're sanctified. And you're submitting, Even sanctified. You're submitting. When you're being taught and submitting to the teaching, you're being sanctified through the teaching. But it's really and we have some now. great Think people around yeah, us, with us, us for us. Now as much as we got anything you, else, you see the, the one thing they say about this church is that we love each other. So we got it all. Because Paul said, if you got love, you got everything. Okay. So the fruit of the Spirit corporately is here. The fruit of the Spirit is each individual here. I love the fact when I see you. Any other questions? I don't say much no um, more because I know when I compliment y'all, then y'all go live. Like <laughs> I don't know what it's about. But I, mean, I don't know what it's about human nature. I don't know what it's about human nature, but it's like when you compliment somebody, they, as soon as they get complimented, it's like, Ooh. I don't know if it get big, but I know y'all go left. It's just, it's just like this, when, you know. Y'all did real good today. Now watch, if I say we're going to have a test next time, I'm going to ask a question, y'all be like, <laughs> but when I when I just talk to y'all, y'all it just comes, and that's what I'm gonna say. Be y'all should look at yourselves and say, look how much I've grown in the word, in the word of God, in the word of God we've grown. So again, we're gonna stop there, and uh, <laughs> we're studying about fruit. Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk of Truth Radio Podcast, and I want to invite all those within the St. Louis metropolitan area and around the world to come worship with us every Sunday at 8 a.m. 
at the Universal Church of Jesus Christ building, located at 2301 Wallace Amen. Avenue, Overland, Missouri, 63114. We also have our Rescue Addiction Recovery Program on Mondays from 7 p.m. until 8 p.m. Our Bible studies are held every Tuesday Hello, this is past 11 a.m. with Walk 7 p.m. Radio podcast. You can also catch us, follow us in the St. Louis and Metropolitan subscribe area to us and around the world to come worship with YouTube, us on every Instagram Sunday at 8 a.m. and Twitter at the Universal Church Please of Jesus Christ. Come on and join us. Located follow us at 20 Follow our podcast. Wallace most Avenue, of all, Overland, Missouri, get saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy we Ghost. We also have our always remember recovery program walk in on truth. Mondays from and 7 like p.m. To contact me until 8 by email. email. You can do our so Bible by studies going are to held walk every truth. Tuesday ministry at 11 a.m. Yahoo7.com. Or you can also catch us, follow us at Yahoo.com. Subscribe to us. Thank you on Facebook. Bless you. And we look forward to worshiping, Instagram, fellowshipping, and Twitter. Please. Come out and join us. Follow us. Follow our podcast. But most of all, get saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy Ghost. And always remember, walk in truth. And if you'd like to contact me by email, you can do so by going to walkintruthministries at yahoo.com or w-i-t-m-i-n at yahoo.com. Thank you and bless you. And we look forward to worshiping and fellowshipping with you. Peace.